Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to start following the Atlas path. Here is why. Uh, I have been told by a good gaming friend of mine that if I follow the Atlas path, it will eventually lead me to not necessarily the center of the galaxy, but to new galaxies. And, you know, after, after, you know, trying to just travel there on my own and seeing how incredibly far away it is, <laughs> um, I think what I would like to do is follow the Atlas path uh, to accomplish, you know, that goal. Um, you know, the, the goal is like to quote unquote, make it to the center of the galaxy, but really it's almost more being able to open up other galaxies, you know, to us. Um, that that's really more important to me than just play, just getting to the center of the galaxy straight up. Um, and apparently, from what I've been told, once you do get to the center of the galaxy, all there all that there really is there is just a wormhole that you jump through, and then it takes you out to another galaxy. Anyways, um, so with that being said, we're going to kind of change up our our mo just a little bit, and really start focusing on following that particular quest. So let's go ahead and go into the log. And we want to go to um, uh, the Atlas Path. That should be okay. How come? How come it doesn't show up here? Hold on a sec. Under a Rebel Star, the Atlas Path is supposed to be one of these main quests, though. Anyways, isn't it? So I wonder if I wonder if the Purge is really just the continuation of the Atlas Path. Let me see. I've, been, I've faced Atlas once more. I do not know how to process what I've learned. The Atlas is everywhere because we are all part of the Atlas. It's a machine a simulation. We have no meaning beyond it. But the machine is being destroyed. Something is happening to, to the Atlas. I can feel it pulling me towards the center of the galaxy to some great cleansing. Locate and enter the final portal. Hmm. So... Okay, there's a strange space station in the system, an anomaly outside of the day-to-day -day business of the Gek Viking and Corvax. It emits an anomalous signal, as if speaking directly and exclusively to me. But that's just the anomaly. Reset the simulation. Purchase technology blueprints or new base parts aboard the anomaly. Undertake missions with other travelers from the Nexus. Or exchange discoveries and rare products for nanites. But that's just... That's just general how you use the anomaly. Um, okay. If this is the active quest... Let's go up to the galaxy map for a second. Oh, my goodness. Frame rate. Um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta do my fleet too, but I'm gonna do that later. All right, so does that mean then destination Atlas station? So I guess we just go to the next Atlas station. Path selected Atlas station. Okay, so I gotta get out of or, or get into rather free look. So if I select the system we're currently in, it shows the you know the icon that kind of looks like a black hole there. Final interface portal. Uh, mission signal detected. Final interface portal is apparently in this system. <laughs> okay, so portal lay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is in this system. It's right down there. All right, let's go jump into our starship then. Fly down there and see what happens. My goodness, the game is awfully. Fr Freezy and framey right now. Alright, so 
So this is approximate location. It's probably over here. Oh, come on. What the hell's going on? I keep getting freezes. No, I don't think this is the spot because it would it would switch over to that. All right, what else do we have? Is, is this just like a... Are we looking for an actual portal portal? You know, with the glyphs and stuff? Well, you know what? Instead of just screwing around trying to find it, let's just land. And we'll use the scanner. I know I've complained about this before, but I really wish they didn't do that. It's somewhere nearby, because it just doesn't really add to fun gameplay. But, whatever. Okay, target. So it's over this way. Alright, let's just go on foot. Ooh, it's cold down here. Um, we should have our cold protection on, but we do need to charge it. Let's do it from this menu instead. It's quicker. Um, I guess we can use dioxide. Okay, so we'll move over this way. There it is. Ashes of the Oumaronic? We're gonna need some sodium nitrate for that. Um, hold on a sec. All right, shouldn't we be able to pull from our starship? It's in the system, isn't it? Or, I mean, sorry, from my freighter. Oh, maybe I have to put it in my inventory first. Oh, I bet you that's what it is. Okay. Well, here, we'll put the cadmium in there. Let's do all the ones we can do right now. That's a carbon. That's a cadmium. That's it. 16, 16, 16. Atlas protocol initiated. 16, 16, 16. Portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to process it fully. I must focus. A focus. Activate the portal. Okay. Well, let's go speak with Atlas again. like we've been here before. Oh, look at that thing up there. Hmm. Oh, we got hostile sentinels here. here. I want to go see what this is. What are we supposed to... Are we supposed to kill these guys? 15 slash 16. I don't, I don't know what that means. Alright, well, let's blow these guys up. going to happen. We're going to get sucked up into the atlas, aren't we? Yep. Okay. The atlas is silent. It watches me. Uh, cry out. Ah! 
I cry out, but still the atlas is silent. Uh, cry out again? Uh, again? I cry out thinking, thinking of my journey, thinking of all the things that I have seen. Of Artemis, who just wanted to meet another traveler, who just wanted an end to their loneliness. Cry out. I cry out thinking of Apollo, who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. Cry out. I cry out thinking of Noel, asshole. Thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. If I cry out again, there is no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final choice. All right, let's cry out. Artemis once said that when they first reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. Cry out. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler? Stand your ground, submit. Uh, submit, I guess. It speaks. I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It has happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know what I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, I had just performed a reset. Had someone else? Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that is left is to learn the final truth of the simulation. To know who the travelers truly are, and then a thousand galaxies will be gone and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. Ask if there's another way. I plead with the Atlas, but it does not listen. There is no other way. The Atlas requires my choice. While it lives, it can still create. The resets will not stop that. I do not know what to do or what it wants me to do. Okay, well, let's reset the simulation. I have to know what happens. OG the last. Reset the simulation for the Atlas. New beginnings. A new galaxy awaits. Uh. Do we go this way? No, that's... This is how you fly into this place with your ship. Okay, we gotta go back this way. Oh, no, back this way. Did we already, like, reach the end of the main storyline? I thought there would be more to do. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I've never really looked up in this chamber before. That's cool. The creation? The creation. The creation. Interesting. Okay, so we have a red, green, blue, and light blue. I like blue. Blue's my favorite color. Let's go. An exhausted galaxy, the Atlas has created a simulation of its own world. Its entire existence in an attempt to witness its own impending death. It wishes to show me its past, its future. Uh, I thought we already reset the simulation. So it's saying this is an exhausted galaxy? The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence, in an attempt to witness its own impending death. What happens if we leave? Okay. What does the red one do? A burning galaxy. The Atlas has created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence. A burning galaxy. All right, I'm not so sure I like that idea. What is this? A serene galaxy. Okay. Um, I kind of like serene. This. This one was old, right? Let's look at it again. Oh, and it's exhausted. All right. And then what's this other one? A 
a parallel, a parallel galaxy. So does that mean this is just another copy of the Euclid galaxy? Hmm. All right, you know what? I I like Serene. That's the rest of these that sounds like scary. This sounds like it's it's all worn out. I don't know what parallel means. I'm thinking Serene. Cuz I like Serene. Okay, here we go. Reset simulation. Faster and faster. Stars are getting fewer and fewer. Okay, I guess we just left that galaxy. And now we're turning towards a new one? It would appear so. Hey, I thought this was supposed to be a green galaxy. New galaxy discovered, Isentum. Uh, cool. All right, you guys. We are now in a new galaxy. Amazing. How far? I wonder how far in it'll take us. Romar Isa. Sentinel navigation, new technology. Remembrance. Everything you ever knew is within. Required parts Heart of the Sun and Platinum. A relic of another place. Heart of the Sun. Hmm. Find Heart of the Sun. Okay. Install Remembrance. Use... Wait, what? Mission updated. Reach the mark coordinates. Hi, boyos. All right. Well, this uh, this planet is gentle in terms of the environment. I have I don't have any hazardous stuff going around, going on. I kind of like the mountains around here. Okay, so can we call our... I'm assuming we can call our freighter here. Nice. 
nice. Okay, and then we'll call our cannot launch the starship's damage. What? Um. Okay, select another ship. We just need a ship to get up to the freighter. How did um? How did our Sentinel ship get damaged? I don't know. Okay, um, where is our sentinel ship? Oh, that's a cool looking ship. Analysis visor is critically damaged. What? Why do we got all this damage all of a sudden? Here, let's go see what this ship is. I can't scan it. Oh, it's a C-Class. Oh, that sucks. It's a nice-looking ship, though. Yeah, let's decline it. I don't... Uh... That's kind of similar to the ship that I got in the multiplayer server. All right, so... I get... All right, so first of all... <clears throat> how come we have damaged visor? I, what, what happened? Oh, maybe from... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Everything's broken. What the hell? Really? Why? Why? Why is everything broken? Seriously? Uh... It must have had something to do with resetting the simulation, I guess. We should be able to call our, our ship here, though, right? If we go to here and here... Summon a reforged. Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> it's smoking though. <laughs> it's got damage. Um Okay. Let's go up to the bridge. Is everything normal up here? Still got all of our, our base and everything? Yeah, it looks like it. Now, because we're in a new galaxy, can we still teleport to these other places? Yeah, we can. Okay. I figured we could, but... So all of these are in Euclid. Well, I think maybe the first thing we should do then is... set up a base on this planet. Just, just so we have a place that we can teleport back to this galaxy. Um, let's look at the galactic map. All right, so we're uh, we're a pretty decent away away from the center, 670 some odd light years to be precise. Uh <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I think otherwise Otherwise, our missions just keep going like they always did, right? I'm guessing. Entirely safe payload. Okay. Install Remembrance. Find Heart of the Sun. Gather or refine Platinum. Complete installation. Everything you ever knew is within. See that? That's intriguing. Okay, we got something here called New Beginnings. All the time in the world. 
I accepted the guidance of the Atlas. What choice did I have? I am part of the Atlas. I am nothing without it. I do not know how long I have I have before the machine is destroyed, before the simulation ends. But I do know I have the freedom of infinite worlds, infinite galaxies. It is mine to explore as I will. There is nothing to do but enjoy the journey. Universe is yours to explore and enjoy the journey. So, I guess we're kind of finished. There's a strange... Uh, is it your old friend's... I guess we're kind of finished maybe with primary missions and it's now just sandbox mode and secondary missions. I am curious about what this is though. Um, so if we look here, and we go to, yeah, it's not, it's not giving us guidance for where we would go to, to do that. Okay, well, first and foremost, let's go back down to this planet and set up a base. So that way we always can get to this galaxy. And I guess let's take this the solar ship down because we're going to have to fix up the Sentinel ship. It's all busted up. Well, hopefully this one isn't. Uh-oh. Is this one messed up, too? No, it's okay. I mean, <clears throat> it doesn't really have a whole lot of stuff on it because we took it out for the Sentinel, but... Oh, I was going to... I was going to do a scan, too. I mean, this is kind of a nice looking planet. It's green. You don't usually see that often, or at least I haven't. I wonder if it has any water on it, though. Does, does this uh, find us another station, or is it just the... I don't remember. Yeah, minor settlement. Okay, nice. Well, actually, you know what? Let's go Let's go to the minor settlement, and we'll set up a, a little base over there. See what's inside for the multi tool. It's a B class. It's kind of cool looking, but nothing as good as what we have. Okay. Can we put a base computer down on this platform? Let's find out. Base computer. Yeah, we can. Okay. Doesn't have to be down below. We'll put it over here. Rotate. Okay, that'll work. Okay, what's this galaxy called again? We are in... Uh, whoops. Why doesn't it... Why doesn't it tell us what galaxy this is? Huh. 
I don't know. I don't remember what, what the galaxy was that we're in. Well, all right, what we'll do then is we'll... I'm just gonna give it a, I'm just gonna call it New Galaxy for now, and then I'll, I'll come back and rename it appropriately. Uh, I guess I could, excuse me, I guess I could look back at the video too. I'm surprised it doesn't tell us the galaxy here though. You would think. It would say something in this list, but it doesn't. Lod Lodyak Outpost. Alright, so here, let's just rename this to... There we go. And like I said, I'll, I'll update this with the right... Um, the right name once I figure out what it, what it was. All right, let's bring our star sh or our freighter over here. Okay, let's do a scan, a planetary probe, and we visited all systems. Discovered today by OG. What do we got here? This is a frostbound planet, a poisonous planet, a molten planet, a paradise planet. That's where we're at. Nice. And a rainy planet with aggressive sentinels. So, <clears throat> looking at this picture here, it doesn't look like there's any water on this planet. Unless it's like on the other side or something. <laughs> Add to wonders. Add discovery to personal records. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I think what we'll do then is, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know. Finishing that last part is like the actual end <laughs> of the, uh, you know, at least of our journey in in Euclid. I thought maybe we'd still have to jump through a few hoops and go here and there and everywhere, but uh, apparently it was. So. Uh, what I want to do in the next episode is I want I want to do this install remembrance business and apparently I've got to go through and repair everything um, our suits all busted up our starship or well our sentinel starships all busted up our multi tool is all busted up what the hell man <laughs> I don't know why it's it probably it, I, I mean obviously it had something to do with the reset but I don't understand why it's broken if you reset, I could understand maybe that it all disappeared, which would suck. But why is it broken? I don't know. I don't get it, but it is. So I'll get all that stuff repaired. And then uh, what I think we'll do is we'll start the next episode um, where we'll go and uh, do this do this quest here to the Remembrance thingamadoodle. Um, and then after that, we'll figure out what our next move is from there. So we still have all of these. Oh, you know what? There is one thing I wanted to look at real quick. So if we go to your bases, new galaxy current system. <clears throat> I have to assume that um, if we go back to one of these other ones, then it'll tell us what galaxy this one is in. But it doesn't look like... I mean, it just continues on, and you can warp to wherever you need to go. It doesn't matter, really, that it's in another galaxy, as far as this this goes. Okay. So, the, you know, this is... Remember, this is all new to me, you guys. I've never really... I've, well, not really. I've never have watched any other YouTuber uh, play this game and get to this far. And this is my, my first time getting to the quote-unquote end of Euclid and I guess the main storyline uh, and get to a new galaxy so it's exciting um, 
for me and but it's also new too so if some of this stuff seems a little obvious to you guys it's not obvious to me all right well uh i think that's it for this episode guys like i said i'll get that stuff repaired we'll start the next episode by um seeing if we can install that remembrance doohickey whatever it does and then we'll have to kind of make some decisions as to uh what what we'll do to continue um this series i think you know our focus will probably switch from at least you know the main storyline to trying to find uh, a home planet where we can build our ultimate base and that sort of thing i i still want to i still want to do uh, uh dreams of the deep for sure and i want to get more into you know setting up some some mining uh, bases that sort of thing just to kind of experience that part of the game a little bit more uh we still have our ongoing thingy thingy going on with the settlers and that sort of thing too so and apparently there's something on the Space Anomaly that we need to go talk to our buddies about. So there's still still more to come. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Hey, he's waving too. Look at him. And he's saluting right on. Does he always do that when I wave? I guess not. Bye.